This is the Boya BIM1 Leveler microphone and it is designed to upgrade the sound of your videos even if you record on your phone, your tablet or your camera. And if you're just starting out, this Lev mic is set to boost the audio quality without breaking the bank. So hang tight because in this video I'm going to cover everything from the design and build quality to its impressive sound performance. Plus I will do some real world sound tests so you can judge for yourself if this little mic is for you. And as a bonus for watching the entire video, I will show you a free tool that I use to clean up and fix my audio with one click. So whether you're vlogging, podcasting or filming your next big tutorial, this little mic might be just the upgrade you've been looking for. Starting off with the design and build quality, the Boya BIM1 has a sleek, simple design typical of lavalier mics. It comes with a long 6 meter cable, giving you plenty length for different recording setups, whether you're vlogging or doing interviews. The cable is lightweight but sturdy, so it's less likely to tangle or break. The mic capsule is small and unobtrusive, making it easy to clip onto clothing without being noticeable. The alligator clip is strong, ensuring the mic stays put during the use. Plus it comes with a foam windscreen to cut down wind noise or plosive, which boosts the recording quality. The inline control module, which holds the battery and the switch for the camera to smartphone modes, it's made of durable plastic. It's a bit bulkier than some might like, but it's necessary for the mic's functionality. One of the best things about the Boya BIM1 is the sound quality. Despite being low cost, it delivers clear, crisp audio with a good balance of frequencies. It has an omnidirectional pickup pattern, meaning that it captures sound from all directions. This makes it versatile for different recording environments, but also means that it can pick up more background noise than directional mics. The frequency response of 65Hz to 18kHz ensures that it captures a wide range of sounds from low bass to high treble. This range is more than enough for most spoken word applications like interviews, presentations and YouTube videos. When used with cameras, the mic performs exceptionally well, producing professional grade sound that rivals pricier lav mics. When connected to smartphones, the quality remains high making a great choice for mobile content creators. But remember, if you record on mobile, always use a dedicated mic app that enables you to control the input signal, otherwise it will not sound so good as I will show you in a bit. When it comes to features and functionality, the Boya BIM1 has several features that make it user-friendly. First, the dual mode compatibility enables you to toggle between camera and smartphone modes. This makes it super versatile as you can use it with a wide range of devices without extra adapters. Unlike many other mics that rely on power from the recording device, the BIM1 has its own power source. This ensures consistent performance no matter what the device is connected to, but it does mean you'll need to keep spare batteries handy because one of the battery will enable you to record up to a clean 700 hours. The 6 meter cable gives you flexibility for various recording setups, whether you need to move around during a presentation or place the recording device far away, the long cable has you covered. The mic comes with useful accessories including the foam windscreen and the 1.4 inch adapter for connecting the audio equipment and the carrying pouch for easy transport. So let me do a few mic tests so you can hear how it sounds. So the first test is a polar pattern test. I'm moving around the mic to see its exact polar pattern and to see how the sound changes while I move the capsule. Now let's do a background noise test. Right now I'm typing away on my keyboard to see how much of the voice and the keyboard sound it catches. Can you hear that? Now let's do a built-in mic test for the iPhone. I'm recording on my iPhone 14 with the front camera right into the camera app about two feet away from my phone. Here's what the audio sounds. Okay, so now I'm recording straight into the voice recording app of my iPhone 14 Pro Max. You can use this on any smartphone that has a 3.5 TRRS plug. If you're using it with an iPhone, just grab a lightning to jack audio adapter. And for those of you with an Android phone, or an iPhone 15 or newer, you'll need the Type-C to jack 3.5 audio adapter. So now I'm recording straight into the MacBook Air, plugged into the 3.5 mm TRRS jack. Here's how the mic sounds. And finally connected to Windows 10, I've got the mic hooked up straight to the TRRS jack on my Windows 10 laptop. Here's how the microphone sounds. I used the default settings for this test and didn't make any changes. But if you want to make it sound better, you can use a free tool called Adobe Podcast. The free version lets you upload only audio files and for this you have to detach the audio from your video file in your video editor 
than export audio only. I will leave a link in the description for you and as a quick disclaimer I'm not affiliated with this tool but I use it because it removes noise and echo from my voice recordings. It is great because you don't need an account, just upload your newly exported audio to the website and it will automatically start working on it. Now depending on the length of your recording it usually takes about 1 or 2 minutes to analyze and improve your recording. The cool thing is that with the free version you can process up to 30 minute files and it has a total of 1 hour per day limit. So let's listen again to the test I did before and let me know in the comments if you can hear the difference. I'm moving around the mic to see its exact polar pattern and to see how the sound changes while I move the capsule. I'm moving around the mic to see its exact polar pattern and to see how the sound changes while I move the capsule. Right now I'm typing away on my keyboard to see how much of the voice and the keyboard sound it catches. Can you hear that? Right now I'm typing away on my keyboard to see how much of the voice and the keyboard sound it catches. Can you hear that? I'm recording on my iPhone 14 with the front camera right into the camera app about two feet away from my phone. I'm recording on my iPhone 14 with the front camera right into the camera app about two feet away from my phone. Okay, so now I'm recording straight into the voice recording app of my iPhone 14 Pro Max. Okay, so now I'm recording straight into the voice recording app of my iPhone 14 Pro Max. So now I'm recording straight into the MacBook Air plugged into the 3.5 mm TRRS jack. So now I'm recording straight into the MacBook Air plugged into the 3.5 mm TRRS jack. And finally connected to Windows 10, I've got the mic hooked up straight to the TRRS jack on my Windows 10 laptop. And finally connected to Windows 10, I've got the mic hooked up straight to the TRRS jack on my Windows 10 laptop. Now when it comes to pros and cons, on the upside we have the affordability because it's one of the most budget friendly lav mics out there coming in at under 15 bucks. It has a good sound quality delivering clear and professional audio suitable for many uses and it is versatile because it works with both cameras and smartphones. The 6 meter long cable offers flexibility in many recording setups and the included accessories make it suitable for immediate use. When it comes to the cons, the first one for me is that it requires an extra battery which needs regular replacing if you use it in camera mode. The second one is that the long cable can be a little bit of a hassle to manage and it is prone to tangling and a little bit difficult if you plan to use it with a gimbal. The third one is the build quality, while decent, the plastic build of the inline control module may not hold up heavy use. Now for the overall value. The Boya BIM1 is a great value for its price because it's perfect for beginners, hobbyists, and semi pros wanting a good lav mic without spending much. Its sound quality is versatile and good for different recordings like YouTube videos, podcasts, interviews, and presentations. In short, the Boya BIM1 is a top pick for budget lav mics. It's affordable, performs well, it is versatile making it a great choice for anyone just starting out and wanting to level up their audio while also being on a small budget. Now if you want more flexibility and don't want to deal with this mic's cable, check out the next video where I will show you the best budget wireless microphone. See you there! Ciao!